Good afternoon, and thank you for spending your time with us. My name is Bernice, and I will be discussing a few moderate to severe cases in my career that encompass the descriptions of erosive tooth wear that Professor Hara has just gone over. Professor Hara discussed the importance of early detection. Let's talk a little bit about clinical detection. I hope to jog your memory a little because uh, become more aware of to interpret what you see, make some suggestions to manage erosive tooth wear or ETW. This is my disclaimer slide. And if you graduated from school after 2008, you probably remember something about the basic erosive wear examination. Known here further on is the BWE. You're probably not using it too much in your everyday practice, so let's quickly get to the gray, your gray matter working. The BWE is used as an assessment exam and can be quickly done. The mouth is divided into sextants, as seen here in the photos. Three sections for the maxilla and three sections for the mandible. There is only one score per sextant. You will only use the highest score of that sextant. The BWE score is going to be the sum of all of the sextants. So now that we remember our BWE, let's go over the criteria for scoring those sextants. Most of the time it will be clear and direct, but other times it's still subjective to the clinician who's scoring the exam. The number zero, there is no erosive tooth structure loss. Number one, initial loss of tooth structure. Number two, distant hard distinct hard tissue loss of less than 50% and three, hard tissue loss more than 50%. Remember that scores two and three have dent dentin involvement. Just add up your six scores and you'll get your final BWE. Now you just completed your screening BWE with your patient. How does their BWE score help you help them? Less than two, really nothing to do. Keep your eye on it. It's recommended to check every three years, but you see the patient more often than that, and you're probably gonna do it at your regular exams. A score of three to eight, check the oral hygiene routine, check into the diet, um, advise perhaps to change some maintenance routines, keep an eye on it during clinical exams, but do the BWE every two years. Now with a score of nine to 13, check your oral hygiene, what's going on? Check the diet, what's going on there as well? Identify the main problem. Erosive tooth wear is multifactorial. Become a detective. Consider adding fluoride to help increase resistance to erosive tooth wear. Monitor with different strategies that work for you and your patient. However, make sure that you're scoring your BWE every six to 12 months. 14 and higher include, include everything I just said and consider adding um, maybe perhaps placing restorations once again. This is subject to your practice and your patient's wants and needs. So we just finished with our assess assessment for us to use. What about the patients? These are the impacts of ETW on the patients. Weakness, dullness, transparency around the edges, surface dents, or as I sometimes like to call them, divots. Most patients are not aware of the damage that can be done to their teeth that is caused by intrinsic and extrinsic factors. We need to explain and educate to our patients on ETW. I will sometimes talk to my patients about occlusal forces and the PSI to crush a carrot and the acidity levels of our drinking water and beverages. And also, to, um, in, I also then incorporate their food cho choices and change the words of the definition to your patients. Use the words that the individual will understand, like divots rather than cupping. To an athlete, cupping is a health technique and not a hole in a surface. Discuss those impacts that you saw in their mouth. Let's check out our first case study, Sieve. He had four wisdom teeth pulled with no anesthesia when he was jo joining the army. He's 75 years of age and has a blood pressure of 125 over 80, regular meds for blood pressure, cholesterol, depression. 
He's a Vietnam vet, an accountant, husband, father, grandfather, and loves to drink seltzer water. And just a nice overall person with some great stories. This is what Steve sees. He likes his smile, but he likes it with a mustache because it hides things. St uh, he smiles, but never really looks at it. He brushes and goes on his merry way. If everything's functioning, he's happy. This is what Steve sees. Usually it's a little less because his lip line doesn't open as much because he's not using retractors. This is what we see when we conduct our clinical exam. Abrasion on the posterior teeth, attrition on the occlusal surfaces, and abfraction along the gingival margin. Steve has all of these issues of ETW, weakness, dullness, transparency, rounding on the uh, edges, surface dense, yellowing, and some sensitivity. When you sum up his BWE, you get a score of 18. Steve never really saw his teeth, looked at them, but never really saw them. Photos say more than words. 80% of the population are visual learners. I include myself in that. Intraoral images are becoming standard of care for the 21st century. So if you don't have an intraoral camera, take out your cell phone, take a photo and show it to them. That's the easiest way. What do we see? What, oh, what can we do with Steve? Um, his BWE is 18, so regular six month recall and check the ETW scores. Decrease the seltzer water. Why you ask? Because carbon, um, adding carbon dioxide to water changes the acidity level to 4.5 from the seven, around seven. So CO2 plus H2O equals H2CO3, carbonic acid. So increase water intake, possibly use an electric toothbrush, um, fluoride toothpaste with, or a fluoride rinse to slow down the progression of the ETW. Next up, Vinny. Vinny is a high school male, he's 14 years of age, no relevant medical history, great overall athlete, no cavities, loves sports drinks, and does have the beginning of a cool wear. No need to change brushing habits, he's pretty good. And eventually one day he'll probably commit to a college for some kind of athletic program, scholarship wise. The blue arrows here are the uh, beginning of a cool wear. These divots to Vinny. He also had a cumulative BWE of eight. There needs to be a little erosive tooth wear intervention here before the photo, before this photo, the next photo, this is what you don't want it to become before it becomes this. What do we do to try to prevent this? Education, not lecturing. Today's youth are all learning differently and they use different visual tools. I suggest using videos from a professional sites explaining the injury to the teeth. Then discuss what, you, what is in the video and how to relate it to their own teeth. Use photos or whatever makes that patient have an aha moment. I'm pretty sure along the way, your educational journey, you have learned some motivational interviewing skills. Collaboration instead of confrontation. I see divots on your teeth, let's talk about them. Evocation rather than education. What do you think can be done to prevent this from getting worse? An autonomy over authority. What do you think could change to, you can change to decrease the chances of these divots from getting worse? Now that we worked out what is wrong, let's discuss what Vinny could do to help decrease those chances because the answer to some of those questions would be, I don't know, so you have to get, help them come to a conclusion. Suggest switching to water during the day and only have sports drinks while playing sports. Choose some sugarless gum if your mouth is dry and use fluoride toothpaste or under fluoride rinse. For your BWE score of eight, keep an eye on things. What is recommended is every two years to check again. This is a, only a guideline. You will probably be checking it more because you see them more. So this is a true story. I will call it Real Housewives. It was a small town in Connecticut one of the dentists noticed the trends of sensitivity issues um, on his female patients. Many, many complaints. The dentist put on his thinking cap and did some detective work. Upon asking a lot of questions for, from his patients, he concluded that the sensitivity issue 
was due to a lemon water fad diet prescribed for a weight loss linked to one particular physician in town. This dentist made a little visit to his physician friend and ha educated him on the erosive toothwear of lemon water. This is a true story. Had I not heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. So now we can put on erosion, um, erosion detection on our resumes. We need to work together with the communities we live and work in. We are the eyes for the researchers and scientists. We're in front of, we are the front lines of oral care. We need to let them know what's going on so that they can find solutions for their problems and we can help fix them. Here we are on another case, Ted. Ted was a regular teenage boy. Uh, you have to remind him to brush a little bit more, to show the plaque build up, and demonstrate how to brush once again. He was complaining about his upper anterior teeth are becoming a little sensitive. No real visible wear. Maybe he's clenching or grinding. So you talk to him about a little about the periodontal ligament um, surround, that surrounds the tooth and maybe it was injured. So let us know if it doesn't get worse. Here's a sensitivity or it does get worse and a little sensitivity toothpaste to help you along the way. He comes in in his regular six month recall and he has a BWE of one on the lingual surfaces. Adolescent um, erosive tooth wear is on the rise. It's multifactorial, but what's going on here? Understand your patient. You have a 16-year-old male, football player, high school adolescent metabolism that is probably creating food bills like you read about it. I'm sure you can understand that, right? The next six-month recall, he presented with anterior teeth looking like this. It looks like bulimia, but this is a large, strong young man. However, maybe there's a problem because of team weigh-ins and he has to be a certain weight. You never know, never assume. The cumulative BWE at this point is nine. So collaboration instead of confrontation is sensitive detective work. Discuss why you're asking these questions. Describe what we just described in your mouth. Looks like it could be the result of acids from a stomach, like reflux or bulimia. Uh, have you had any changes in your diet? Have you had any changes in your toothpaste? Have you changed your toothbrush texture? Have you changed your habits in any way? I was already getting no, nope for answers. These weren't the right questions. I had to change directions and think a little bit. So. Sensitive detective work here. Ask the right question. You, did, you get, did you change the way you're eating or drinking a particular food that is in your diet? The answer was yes. I changed to drinking orange juice at night by the bed because I get hungry or thirsty. Oh my goodness. I could, I just, it was kind of, I had a look of horror on my face. And I was like, no, just no. But apparently he saw that and he said, uh, should I not be doing that? No, no. So I called mom. Uh, Ted said it was all right. I could do that and describe what was going on. And she said, I guess that was not such a good idea. No, mom was tired of hearing her son rummage through the refrigerator at two o'clock in the morning. So using those motivational interviewing skills, we discussed a few things to perhaps change prior to bedtime. Water by the bed before, um, Eat before you're getting ready for bed, a brush with fluoride toothpaste and fluoride rinse. There are just some suggestions. So you may have other ideas how to feed a starving six-year-old boy in the middle of the night. Good luck, let me know if you find anything. To help, you, to help with erosive tooth wear enlightenment, use your professional sites. They all have videos and photos. Use the one you like best. Be a detective, investigate the patient's general health, diet, and toothbrushing behavior. Identify possible sources of acid and, the to and tooth wear. Uh, tailor your advice to the need of each individual patient to manage that tooth wear. Ensure patients use toothpaste that contains fluoride. Monitor and record the BWE. Consult, refer to the wider medical team for advice on managing intrinsic sources of acid, such as acid reflux, eating disorders, or even medications. We as dental professionals have started to help treat and the total health of our patients. We're no longer just treating teeth. We're taking care of the total person's 
our patients. Patient treatment cannot be the same for each one, each individual. We are all the same, but a little bit different, just like life. Sometimes you do nothing. Sometimes you wait and see. Sometimes you cover up what happened. And most of the time you add fluoride. Fluoride is always there for you. Just as a reminder what Professor Harp said, erosive tooth wear has an irreversible and cumulative nature. So I leave you with this from C.W. Lewis. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Mm -hmm.